Lights on One World Trade Center lit up in red, white and blue, honoring the eight victims killed in the terror attack on Tuesday. The suspect's truck slamming into a crowd just steps away from that building happening earlier in the day. We know that this action was intended to break our spirit. But this morning, the city standing more determined than ever against acts of violence just like this. Mayor Bill de Blasio proclaiming the Big Apple is unbreakable. That suspect is now in the hospital after being shot by police. And we are following the latest on the investigation with our live team coverage. We have Sunila Sabovic. She's uncovering more about that suspect, including his ties right here to Florida and ISIS. We begin this morning with Michael Seiden, who is live in lower Manhattan. Michael, you're right near that scene. You can see the truck from your position. What's the latest this morning? And good morning, Eric and JC from Manhattan. This is still a very active crime scene. In fact, we are just down the street from that Home Depot truck, that rented truck that was used by the suspect in yesterday's deadly attack. We are told in the next hour or so, FBI investigators will be at the scene. The terror began around 3.05 in the afternoon on Halloween in Lower Manhattan. Police say 29 year old Saifula Saipov, an Uzbekistan immigrant who had been living in Patterson, New Jersey, deliberately drove a rented Home Depot truck onto a bike and pedestrian path, targeting people and running them over. We know that this action was intended to break our spirit. The crime scene stretching for several blocks. We got multiple casualties. This is a mass casualty situation here. His truck eventually colliding with a school bus, injuring the two adults and two kids on board before finally coming to a stop just blocks away from the World Trade Center Memorial. He was like had two guns on him and he was just running in the street. The FBI and the NYPD are now urging the public to share any videos or images that could help in the investigation, like this cell phone video that shows the driver limping after getting out of his truck, holding what turned out to be two fake guns. Witnesses telling ABC News he shouted, God is great in Arabic, before being shot by an officer. I want to commend the response of our NYPD officer that was on post near the location who stopped the carnage moments after it began. The NYPD has been preparing for the possibility of vehicle attacks following similar incidents in France, London, and Berlin. And last night, security was stepped up even more. You'll see them in the airport, you'll see them in the tunnels. Uh, it's not because there's any evidence of any ongoing threat or any additional threat. It is just out of vigilance uh, and out of, out of caution. Back out here live, I want to show you this photo. This was just minutes ago. We actually just got an interview with a witness. A man who just moved to New York City six weeks ago tells me he was moving out of his apartment yesterday when he saw that rented truck barreling towards him. He snapped this photo. You can see that is the suspected gunman. You can see him standing outside the truck with two guns. This is just minutes before he was shot by police. This man describing the terrifying scene. We're going to have his interview, but again, I want to show you. Take a look down the street. You can see that is that truck that was used by the suspect in this deadly attack. FBI agents expected to be out here later this afternoon. This area still shut down. JC and Eric, though, an active crime scene, and we expect to see this throughout the day. Wow. That picture is haunting. We know so many people were out on Halloween. Michael, what is the security like in the city right now? JC, just to give you an idea where we are right now, we're just about a block from where this crime scene ended and they have us inside a barricade. Take a look at this. You can see these are members of the media from not only here in New York, but nationally, internationally are here and they're keeping us in these barricades. It's very tight security. We've got a lot of officers on hand and we are told at some point they're going to be coming around here checking our credentials. They want to make sure that if you are not a member of the media that you don't get anywhere near the crime scene. Um, but as far as driving around the city, uh, I know a lot of you guys have been to New York before. We have a lot of viewers who are originally from New York. Uh, driving around New York, it just seems like another day, and especially last night was Halloween. Such a resilient city. We saw so many people out in costume basically saying, hey, look, a terrorist is not going to ruin our spirit. But you can definitely tell when you get near the crime scene, there's definitely a heightened alert of security.
That picture just showed us just chilling. Can't wait to hear the interview with that witness who took that picture. Michael Seiden continuing our coverage this morning in New York City. We'll have that interview for you a little bit later on today.